uh, and it's exciting to be here today. There's a lot that I could talk about, but I want to talk uh, a little bit about business. Uh, real quick, uh, business for us is, you know, the first question, will it make us happy? You know, and that's important to us in our company nowadays when we, nowadays when we expand or think about expanding, that's what we think about. And how will it affect our community and how will it affect our company? And, you know, if the answer isn't positive to all three of those, then we can't be involved. So <clears throat> we're starting a few different companies now, but the one I want to talk about today is Matt Soda, which is something we're launching in the restaurants now. Uh, we launched our first bottle a few weeks ago in our second, which was called a black and white. And then we're going to launch, uh, I think, tomorrow, Thursday, today, Wednesday, Thursday, our lemon berry soda. And what we're doing is, is we're doing what we call a treatment. So we're going to run these sodas through our restaurants and through our businesses for the summer, take feedback from people, figure out what we're doing right and you know, what we might not be doing right, and, and, and apply our community uh, um, comments to the soda. So we've got online like six different sodas that we're going to be bringing to market in the next few weeks. Uh, after the lemon berry, we have a, a lime and lemongrass. We're doing a strawberry rhubarb. We're going to do some scratch sodas, which means we just kind of take what's growing on our farms here or what we can find here in Delaware and apply to these sodas. And a lot of the basis behind the soda thing was is we're involved in the brewery business. We're uh, partners uh, at, at a certain level at a brewery in, in Pennsylvania in Hershey called Trogues. And I'm invested in a, in a, in a vineyard. Uh, in Tuscany in Italy, which is pretty tough because I have to go there a couple times a year. <laughs> uh, and, and so, but you know, I don't drink, so I've never tasted any of the beer that we make. I've never tasted any of the wine that we make. Uh, you know, I smell it. I understand flavor profiles. So we thought it would be really nice to develop a soda. Not only a soda that could accent food, uh, you know, accentuate the dining experience, but also something that was natural and healthy because I, I drink water and coffee. You know, I drink water and coffee, and every once in a while I like a soda, but when I drink a soda, sometimes it just kind of overwhelms my body because I don't do well with sugar. So it overwhelms my body. So through a lot of my travels and a lot of the places that I've been in the world, I've kind of, you know, sourced out and, and done some research on natural sugars, and one of the best ones that we use is a natural palm sugar. Once again, you know, with all this stuff going on today about natural, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, organic this and that, you still have to check labels. So even if you went out tonight and wanted to buy like a cane sugar or a palm sugar or a jaggedy, uh, uh, something like that, you have to make sure it's 100% pure. So that's what we've been doing a lot of research on over the last uh, couple of years. And we came up with some ideas to make some sodas that were a little different, but they weren't like sugar water. They had flavor, taste, some have a little savory. You know, we do, you know, a lemon cranberry with a hint of chili in it and rosemary you might find in some of our sodas. And they accent food very well and they taste well. And after you, you know, drink some of this soda, you walk away feeling good. So that's part of being a part of the community. That's part of like kind of looking at like health standards, looking at everything that's going on in the world because it's all tied together. Like our businesses, for example, it's like, you know, it's all a part of our life, and it's amazing how everything is just tied together. So we're thinking about that a lot whenever we're doing anything in any of our businesses. So that's how the soda came up. Natural, pure, organic. It's also a great mixer. We've done a lot of work. Zach was here uh, you know, about six months ago speaking from Delaware Distillery, and we're going to be doing a dinner at the James Beard House in New York. So what we did is we took our black and white, which is, you know, it, it, it might not sound great to you, but it's phenomenal. It's white balsamic vinegar, bay leaf, cracked pepper, and palm sugar. And it's a fantastic soda, but we're mixing it with Zach's uh, new spiced rum that he's putting it out. We're going to present that at the James Beard House. So we're tying in a Delaware distillery, you know, and, and we're bringing this soda, and we're going to kind of promote it to a lot of the people that are going to be at the dinner that night. So we're excited about that. And then it's also just the excitement about doing something with Zach and his company, and you know, we're getting our labels from a local company. The bottling, everything is happening, uh, you know, probably 90% local. But I also believe that my friend that raises chickens and makes cheese in Austin, Texas is local, you know, in, in a way. I believe in that, you know, because they're working as hard down there as they are in Portland and places like that. But we concentrate mostly on southern Delaware, which, you know, we're incredibly proud to be a part of this community. I mean, it's just 
awesome. And anything that happens for us is a byproduct of, of you guys being awesome. So we're like grateful for where we are. We're grateful to be here. We're excited about being here. We're excited about moving these products out. We're gonna have our own little grocery line and we want it to be you know, not only all kind of uh, uh, working together here in Delaware, but most importantly, the guys and the girls that are putting this stuff together are having a lot of fun doing it. They're very excited about it. And at the end of the day, we're gonna take some of these profits and we're gonna funnel it back into awesome organizations in this state and in this community. And that's the thing we're the most proud of. We will not start a new business without putting money back into the people and into this community. Thank you. You did a nice job, Matt. He, he ended right at zero. <laughs> Uh, now we'll have a few minutes for some questions from the audience. Are there any questions for Matt? Where are you located? Uh, I own and or operate close to, 20, you know, over 25 businesses. And my office is in my kitchen at my house. So, but that's in, in Sussex Ro County? That's in Sussex County, Rehoboth Beach. 90% of our businesses run through Sussex County. And then we have interests in Italy, in Nepal, in Mexico, and, but the bulk of the business is here. But anything we're involved in overseas is being funneled back through here. Other questions for Matt? Congratulations on your award. Thank you. So I heard you say a lot of, mention several collaborations, partnerships. How do you determine which ones are successful? You know, we surround ourselves, we build you know, leadership through working with others of what I call like-mindedness? It's, you know, I, I would say success, it's never about the money with us. Mm -hmm. And it's more about, you know, group happiness, you know, collaboration, expression, creativity, and having a bunch of people get together that can do something that they enjoy doing and move forward. We've been lucky enough to like, you know, we're batting like 990 on the like business win-loss ratio. So we're doing pretty well there. We haven't had to experience much loss yet from a financial standpoint. But even, even at that level, the little loss that we, we, we had, it, we didn't suffer because we felt like we, we won. We felt like we succeeded, that the business just didn't work and so any business we're in now is like, I'll use for an example, uh, I invested in a coffee plantation in Nepal. And you're like, well, you know, why are you investing in Nepal? Part of what we did there is I don't care if I make any money out of it, but in three years when we go to harvest on the beans, we're gonna employ women brought out of bonded labor situations that are gonna come to work. They're gonna have education and medical facilities for their children, and so that's a win. But then the coffee, when it gets shipped here, we're gonna put it in a warehouse and we're gonna bring some of the kids that we're working with now out from you know, Autism Delaware that, that are working with us now are gonna come and work with us there. So that's a win for them, it's a win for the women, and it's a win for anybody drinking a cup of coffee. So when you were making the determination for your next project, the soda, did you bring a group of people together to determine or think about, the thought came, what, what, what was the process? Five of the restaurants that I've bought that, that I own personally, I probably made the decision in five seconds. Mm -hmm. You know, it was very quick, it was gut, I knew it, and it worked. You know, but most of the time now, I've agreed with my CFO and some of my strategic guys that are in the core group that when we have an idea, we sit down, it's presented not always by me, it can be presented by the group, and then we go through a process with real estate, CFO, so it's financial location, we do forecast budgets, we look at things, and we look at our, you know, kind of our, you know, you know, loss or profit ratio uh, possibilities, and then we move forward. Any other questions? Thank you. Um, I work at La Esperanza, and I want to say how much we and the people that I work with, the staff, just absolutely appreciate and adore Matt, and what an inspiration he is. And I wanted to say one thing that I want everyone to know is that uh, some of the most uh, vulnerable people that we work with who have had the opportunity to meet Matt and maybe to work near or with Matt are very inspired uh, personally as well as to know that they, in, they themselves can go into business. They themselves can have hope to uh, just really make a difference in, in their own lives and the lives of their children. 
And so I really appreciate that. So many of us do. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Nita. You know, I, and, and thank you. And to, to quickly elaborate on that, when I was 34 years old, I was taking a bus to work. I was washing dishes, and I had two separate tennis shoes on because I couldn't afford a pair at Salvation Army. And one of the things that I think that you can give another human being, the greatest gift you can give somebody is the gift of example. And I'm living proof that anybody can have anything they want in the world. And there's nothing in the world that can stop you but you. And being involved with an organization like La Speranza, being involved with Dr. Smith and so many organizations we're involved in, it's so important for us to not always be able to write a check. What's important is time and example. And it's something I've learned you know, from a lot of people in this room. So when you know, a guy like me gets a James Beard Award, I didn't get that award. We got that award. I need to cut that thing up 100 different ways and pass it out to 100 people in Southern Delaware. So thank you. Any other questions or comments for Matt? Excuse me. What should local governments, educational institutions, or perhaps organizations like the Chamber of Commerce be doing to encourage entrepreneurs like you to start and grow their businesses in Sussex County? First off, I'd like to say they are doing it. I think our political platform is fantastic. I don't comment on a lot. I think we have a lot of awesome people working with us. We have an awesome cabinet. All our positions are filled with what I think is very positive people especially our Department of Corrections. I think they're making huge moves there, and, uh, and it's, it's fantastic to be a part of that and see that happening. I think our chambers are working hard. I mean, you look at what's happening here today. We're working hard, we're doing it right, and, and once again, you know, I came here with nothing, and, and my success is a byproduct of this state standing behind me and never turning its back on me. You know, the local banks, the local chambers, you know, the, the local educational systems have all been fantastic to us. And so I don't know what more they could do for me. And I see them doing a lot for the community. But I think it also rests a lot on the person that wants to build a business and move forward has to play their part instead of just relying on everybody else to take care of them. Matt, how many employees do you have? Currently? What's that? How many employees do you have? Between the, the businesses that I own and or manage for other people or run, probably about 1,000. Wow. We create. Within those, that, 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 that sphere, probably about $50 million a year in revenue for the state. Tremendous. We have time for one more. I just wanted to ask you what made you decide to use the palm sugar, and is that coconut palm, and why would you use that rather yeah. than stevia or agave? Um, we're using agave. You know, uh, stevia, I, I'm not well versed on it. I just know that it comes in a package, and I don't like that. So I don't know. I'm learning a little bit about that. But I love jaggedy, which is something that I, is here, but I discovered in India and in Nepal, which is fantastic. So we're learning. You know, and so that's like a question like that is I'm going to go back to Matt. It's funny because I got seven Matts working <laughs> with me, so everybody can claim Matt Soda. So, but Matt Patton at Fish On is doing most of, a lot of the research and uh, and lab work on this. So, you know, I'll talk to him about that. But you know, our main focus in the beginning was also products where I like to travel. You know, so that comes into it a lot. Like when I travel a lot, I love to implement that back into our business. Matt, what can we do to support you, uh, to, to support your growth? You've already supported me. I mean, I've, our, our company has been supported incredibly by our community. You know, just continue doing what you're doing. Continue being there. And I know a lot of people in this room that are doing fantastic things in this community. And all I would say is just keep doing what you're doing because we are growing. You know, we, we, we might be a little state, uh, but we have a big voice. And I think we are capitalizing on it. And I couldn't think of being around a better group of people. You know, I travel all over the world and I love it. I love wherever I go, but man, I love coming home. And I couldn't think about being around a better group of people or having more support from the people I get support from. <laughs>